right back into trigonometry when you are solving triangles. Back to grade 10. Because you are still, um, you are allowed to use this, but the difference is in grade 10, you are always working with which type of triangles? Right angle. If it wasn't right angles, you didn't have any clue what to do because you don't have the tools yet, which you're going to get now. So in a right angle triangle, if I was asking you for BC, let's make it X. Find X for me. If I wanted to find that X, how would I have found that in grade 10? Use the ratio. Using the ratio. What ratio? What are we talking about? So we are busy with 22 degrees and we've got 17 meters, right? So those are is a side and an angle. Now in grade 10 you were taught there's always three things in combination with each other. Sin and cos and tan are always three things in combination of each other. The angle together with specific two sides makes it a sin ratio or a cos ratio. And that's where the... Um, Sin that is opposite over hypotenuse, cos that is adjacent over hypotenuse, and a tan that is opposite over adjacent comes in. So if you were asking yourself, this is the angle I'm looking for, the side that I'm looking for, this is my angle, this is my side. What's the combination? Those three things in combination are an angle and two sides. Which two sides? According to this angle, this is the hypotenuse. I'm glad nobody said adjacent. This is the hypotenuse, because it doesn't matter if I'm with that angle or that angle, this stays hypotenuse. But from that angle, this is the opposite. opposite. So opposite and hypotenuse brings me to the sin ratio of that angle will be the x over the 17. And don't write the meters there, it just confuses you. So we're putting it on top of each other. And solve for x is one step away. To solve for x, you do what? Multiply with 17 to get it away, multiply with 17 to get it on this side. Mm -hmm. And the answer of 17 times the same 22 feet will be a certain amount of meters that you can add there and you don't even have to. 6,37. 6,37 and we always round up to two decimals unless otherwise indicated. Last year. This year when I now ask you to find sides and angles, so I'm solving triangles. So for yourself, if it is I'm looking for <coughs> angles or sides, then I'm solving triangles. It's three, two dimensional in grade 12, you do three dimensional, different dimensions. But the same principles apply. So if I'm asking you in this question to go find the edge, you'll say, ma'am, I don't have a clue because I haven't done it yet. You need a new tool because there is no right angled triangle. I'm a sure yes because that's going to give me 105. So this would be 75, right? You don't have to work it out, but you could if you wanted to. But the fact of the matter is that I cannot use the grade 10 tool with hypotenuse side because our hypotenuse side is only when you have a 90 degree angle. So orange, apple, ha, ha, all the stuff that you were taught on how to remember the sin, cos, and tan doesn't work because you don't have a hypotenuse side. New formula. The formula looks terrible, well it doesn't look that terrible, but it means something. First of all, before I get to the example, what does the sin rule say? There's the sin here. What does a small a mean in a sketch? It's a side, exactly. Excellent. So if that angle, triangle is called A, B, C, then this side is called small a. This side is called small b. And this side is called small c. Can you not do whatever you like? No, it means something. And this then means something. You're never ever going to work with two equal signs. It just means that everything can work. You've got to apply where you are, what information you have. What it's all about is this is a side, there is an angle. And the two have to be across from each other. I'm talking about pegs. So I'm going to be talking about pairs. Now the pair means I've got to have the angle and the side. So this means I've got to have a side and an angle, side and an angle, side and an angle, depending on what's been given to me. What was given on this sketch? I have a pair. Do you see the pair? Yes. 
the pairs 55 and 100, because they work opposite from each other. Whether the triangle is called ABC, XYZ, PQR doesn't matter. It's got to be the pair. So there's my pair, complete pair, and then these work in a pair as well, and there's the variable. So one of the four is unknown. So you've got to work with two pairs of which one of them is unknown. No. So this is the sin rule. So when you start off, you write down the sin rule, and then there's something that you can alternatively do. Let me write it as we've got over there. A over sin A equals B over sin B. Now I'm not going to write all of that. One of the things I want to emphasize to you, you don't have to work with A, B, C, X, Y, Z, P, Q, R. You just have to know what I'm talking about if I say A and A, that it's a pair. Whether this triangle was called X, Y, Z, I'll still write A, B, C. And it's fine. Because I just need to know, you recognized, sin rule. Sin rule, whether it's X, Y, Z, doesn't matter. But where's the pairs? The pair that I have is a 55 and a 100. But now please make sure that you've got the 55 at the angle. There's the angle. Are you with me? Yes, ma'am. So if I want to use the 100 and the 55, the 100 is the side at the top and the 55 at the bottom and it's in 55. Can you imagine you can't swap that around? You can't say sin 100 and 55 there because then you're working with sides as if they're angles and the other way around. The other pair that I've got yes. is where I'm looking for X and X is the a. side, that's the A part. And then the value opposite to that is going to be sin of 50. Did you see it? That's the essence of the lesson. It's got to be pairs. And one of them is missing. <coughs> it won't always look like this because we're still going to have a cause rule when this is not going to work. We're going to need something else as well. But when you start off with the sum and I'm asking you to find angles and sides, from now on you'll know that you'll be able to use the sin rule and then the cause rule when we get to it. Mm -hmm. Sin rule and cause rule, which means, do I have pairs? Yes, I do. I have a pair there with the 100 and the 50, but there I have a half a pair. So I'm going to find the other half by using the sin rule. Mm -hmm. Now, is, am I able to swap this around? Because you're going to get to a sum where I'm asking you maybe for this angle. Then it's good to put the angle at the top. So what man is saying, you can swap that around to write the sin at the top and the sign at the bottom. And you don't even have to. If you write it like this and the x was at the bottom, then at some stage you're just going to manipulate your equation just like you always have. Okay, will you be able to finish this up? Very easily. How? Okay, so we type in all of that and we say the answer must be? multiplied by sin 50 and I don't want steps one answer because if you have lots of steps you start rounding off and then it's inaccurate so you punch in 100 over sin 55 and take the answer and get the times with sin 50 you can show me that it's times with sin 50 and you can put it all on one it's all about your technique do you work it out accurately it's fine I'm happy with you you don't have to show me all the stuff Previous years, grade 9 and especially grade 10, you did lots of steps to show yourself. You can show yourself here that it's times with sin 50. You don't have to show me. I just want the answer, please. 93.52. Okay, now that will also be a length. But in the previous sum, they gave the lengths in meters, so I knew my answer was in meters. This one, they never said anything. So you don't have to say anything. If you really want to, you can say units. units because it's a leg. If it was centimeters here, you would have had centimeters. Guys, nobody's going to deduct marks for centimeters and that stuff. Okay. Right. So over here we have the piece. What I need to do is I need to focus your mind now so that whenever you get to this time, you won't think parabolas. Okay. You intrigue, and I'm asking you to find it. Angles. So the moment I'm asking you to find size and angles, there are different things. Can you still use Pythagoras? No. Well, not here, but to find size? Yes. Okay, so you've got lots of tools. Get the right one at the right stage. But the moment that you're not in a right angle triangle, that limits your options. So now you have the sin rule. The sin rule where you have to have pairs. Do I have pairs? Yes, there's the pair. You see it? The final force. There's the other pair, the half a pair. 
So I have the side this time I need to find the angle. Do you see what I spoke about here? Yes. So now if I need to go right back down, do I need to always write down the formula? Yes. yes. Do I write PQRST here? No, you can still write. Okay, so this is the, the regulations for metric papers. You need to see that it's a symbol. Actually, they don't even give a mark for that. It's just for applying it. So when you are looking, now this is the golden rule. The thing you're looking for, put it at the top. Like over here, we put the X at the top and that was easy then to get the X alone. What are you looking for here? The theta. And the theta is the angle which belongs with the sin. So I'd rather want to write sin theta over and that will be the 7. I never wrote the A, the P, the Q, the T, the R, the S, nothing. I've got the idea. That is the sin of the angle over the sine. So then on that side, very importantly then, it must also be the angle at the top and the side of the bottom. So it has to be sin 40 over. And that's the gist of it, guys. That's how it works. It's always two pairs. One of them is half of it, and you're going to work it out. But now you're going to work to find the angle, right? Yes. So that also should be something like zero comma what, 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 I don't know. Yeah. You with me? Mm -hmm. Please give it to me. Zero comma ninety. No, I don't run it off. Oh, zero comma eighty-nine. One. Nine. Zero comma eighty-nine. Eight, nine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, so when I've got that answer, please don't round off because you're going to make your answer inaccurate. Mm -hmm. Then you take that complete answer. And how do I get to theta now, right? Sure. It's a little case. It's a little case. Shifts in. And what's the answer, please? 52,18. Can I now round off? Yes. Yes, comma eight. Seven. Eight, seven. seven, thank you. So that's my answer, right? Now, the question said here that the angle was acute. But for today, I'm not just going to stop there. Tomorrow, I'll stretch your brain a little bit. But for the essence of it, that's, how, but that, that's what I want you to know, know from this first lesson. I can either find a sine or I can find an angle. But it's exactly the same tool. It's just a matter of which one you're looking for, you put it at the top. And if you wanted to put it at the bottom and later in the sun, take it to the top while you were manipulating, it's fine. But you need the sin rule and substitute into it and get the answer. These would be three more questions. And that's it. Could I find everything else in the sun? After I found the 62,87. Yeah? Remember when we said solve the triangle in grade 10. What does that mean? Then I need all the angles and all the sides. So to find this angle... Interior angle to a triangle. Okay? And once I have this one, can I, oh, can I not do Pythagoras? No. Tools not available. But can I still do the sin rule? Because once I've got this one, adding up the sum of the angles of a triangle, then I've got half a pen. And I can use any one of the other two, and the, the safe way is to keep on to the one that they gave you, not the one that you worked out. But you could have carried on with it. All right. Okay, quickly let's go through your homework sums. We're looking for a side. We're not put it there. We're looking for a side. So do I have an angle? Yes. Yes. Did I put it there? Where is my thumb? Oh, you're doing. See, let me just check on that. I'll just check on that. That's not enough information. I'll just check there has to be something else there. I don't know where I put it down. For this one, I have a couple. I don't have a couple. Okay? So I'm going to find the angle. Well, here, yeah, this one, I have a couple. I don't have a couple. Let me just check up on that one. This must be silly. Sorry? That must be silly. Okay, it's going to take you 10 minutes to do this. Please make sure you understand it.